Joe Kovacs, executive news editor for WND, asks the question, are voting machines not properly recording the intended votes of American citizens this election cycle? With early voting already underway, his article goes on to say, more examples are being found across the nation of problems at polling places. The latest comes from Marion County, Ohio a battleground state, where Joan Stevens tried to vote for Mitt Romney Monday on an electronic touchscreen, but Barack Obama's name kept lighting up. According to the Marion Star, it took Miss Stevens three tries for her choice to be accurately recorded. Meanwhile, this is not the only case of voting machine problems. Just last week, there were similar cases documented at several polling places in North Carolina, in Gulliford County, Jamestown, and Pleasant Garden. A report released in February by the Pew Center on the States said America's voter registration rolls are in a disarray. The report found one in eight active registrations is invalid or inaccurate, and one out of every four people eligible to vote, some 51 million voters, are not even registered. The New York Times noted, quote, the report found that there are about 1.8 million dead people listed as active voters. Some 2.8 million people have active registrations in more than one state, and 12 million registrations have errors serious enough to make it unlikely that mailings based on them will actually reach the voters. So, voter registration rolls are in disarray. 1.8 million dead people are listed as active voters. And in four recorded places thus far, when you pull the lever for Romney, Obama's name is registered. Anyone want to take a guess how this election might turn out?